Let's bring in USA Today sports columnist Christine Brennan, also ABC News medical contributor Dr. Alok Patel. Boy, so much to unpack here uh, from a sports perspective, a medical perspective. Terry and I both, and, and Alok, maybe we start with you. We, we definitely took notes and were interested in the temperature management part of what they did when when Damar uh, got to the hospital. I mean, we definitely have to talk about that trainer um, mm. jumping in and doing CPR. That was incredible. But what, what did you make of that? And what exactly does that mean? And how did that help in, in saving his life, this temperature management that they did when he got there? Well, Kira, as we were all listening to that incredible good news from that medical conference, what the underlying message was regarding the temperature management the support that he was on, the breathing tube, is you want to essentially reduce the amount of stress that's on the body, the amount of stress that the heart is actually doing. Because if you think about what DeMar Hamlin went through on the field regarding CPR and the defibrillator, they got his pulse back. That was extremely important. The life-saving pulse was back, but they still needed to protect the rest of his organs, including his kidney, his gut, his lungs, and his brain. So by doing all these different measures, the different medications he was getting, the breathing tube, and then temper re temperature regulation, that essentially is the goal. A lot of it is for that brain protection. And so the signs that Damar Hamlin was showing when he was able to breathe on his own and make that famous heart symbol, that's able to tell everyone out there that his brain is back. Yeah, it's great. And and so much more progress to, to go, and we'll see how that works. But Christine, I want to ask about this story in general. This is a great day for it. But this story has has triggered a lot of questions about football in general and the mm -hmm. violence of it and all that. And yet here we have this inspirational ending, which, as Dr. Patel says, is 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 due from people on the spot, a trainer pushing everybody else out of the way. So we got to start CPR and getting to it right away. So what, what do you make of where we are in this story and what we're learning about not just about DeMar Hamlin's remarkable young men, but about about the football community? Terry and Kira, and of course the doctor, uh, you know, when I think about what we've learned, the fact that we're talking about CPR, what the doctor said at the very end, learn CPR, wouldn't it be great if the National Football League, and maybe they're going to work on this, I have no reporting on this right now, I do not, but if they literally had a CPR class coupon that could go with every ticket for every NFL fan going into games, let's say next year. Um, if there was a push by the league, the NFL is by far our most popular sport, obviously. Uh, the fans, the love of the game. If the NFL pushed this, and they, and they easily could do this, a push for CPR classes everywhere and people getting classes. Uh, and of course, the, the automatic defibrillators everywhere to be able to use them. That would be an incredible uh, gift because we wouldn't just be talking about a football player and that the remarkable story, by the way, less than a week ago, this happened and he's already back in Buffalo medically transported. Unbelievable. Um, but it would also be then taking this story away from the football field into the culture and the NFL being able to give back to so many people who are big fans of the sport and who've been following this story. Absolutely. So much more to come. Hopefully as good news as we got today. And Christine and Dr. Patel, thanks very much for being with us on it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.